Light and peace in Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. We praise and thank you, O God, for you are without beginning and without end. Through Christ you created the whole world, and through Christ you preserve it. You made the day for the works of light, and the night for the refreshment of our minds and bodies. Keep us now in Christ. Grant us a peaceful evening, a night free from sin, and bring us at last to eternal life. Through Christ and in the Holy Spirit, we offer you all glory, honor, and worship, now and forever. Amen. Amen and amen. me mm-hmm. 
Still all my song shall be Nearer, my God, to Thee Nearer, my God, to Thee grace. We hear that call that heaven reaches down to us by God's grace, and we claim it, O Lord. We thank you, Lord, for this night. We thank you, Lord, for the end of another day where we have survived. We have not only survived, we have succeeded in accomplishing the tasks laid before us this day. You may not feel that way. You may think, Pastor, I didn't get all those things done I planned to do. But you accomplished all that you were required to do today. You stayed alive. You stayed close to God. And if you didn't through the day, you're doing it now. You're reconnecting to God. You're coming back in faith. You're clearing your mind. You're reviving your spirit. You're cleansing your heart. You're coming back to God. 
in this moment, you're coming back to God. With these thoughts, as you focus on church and the words and what it was, that grace would reach down from heaven to cover us, you're coming back to God and so enter into God's kingdom. Enter boldly into God's throne room and know that you are loved. Enter in by God's very invitation. Enter into God's presence. Merciful Lord, this night we ask for your blessing upon the reading of this holy word. And in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we cast out all evil from our life. We cast out all of Satan's minions and bad thoughts and deeds. We cast it all from this place, from this room, from wherever we may be, from our lives, from our families, from our workplaces, by the power and the grace of God and the goodness of God, by God's sacred word, by the promises of God, we cast Satan from this place. Let him enter never again. Let him be banished. Let him be banned. Let him be thrown out. Let him lie down and be muzzled like a dog, O Lord, for you have called it to be. You have called it to be. This night we'll be reading from Psalm 28. Someone asked me the other day, Pastor, how do you pick your psalms? I said, I don't. They pick me. Sometimes I know in the morning where I'll be. Sometimes I know in the moment where I'll be. But tonight we read from Psalm 28. Prayer for help and thanksgiving for receiving that help. Let us now hear from the Word of God, from the NRSV, the New Revised Standard Bible. To you, O Lord, I call, my rock. Do not refuse to hear me. For if you are silent to me, I shall be like those who go down to the pit. Hear the voice of my supplication as I cry out to you for help, as I lift up my hands toward your most holy sanctuary. Do not drag me away with the wicked, with those who are workers of evil, who speak peace with their neighbors while mischief is in their hearts. Repay them according to their work, and according to the evil of their deeds, repay them according to the work of their hands. Render them their due reward, because they do not regard the works of the Lord or the work of his hands. He will break them down and build them up no more. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard the sound of my pleading. The Lord is my strength and my shield. In him my heart trusts. So I am helped and my heart exults. And with my song, I give thanks to him. The Lord is the strength of his people. He is the saving refuge of his anointed. Oh, save your people and bless your heritage. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. invite you to be at peace with those words and to let them rest upon your heart for a moment. Let us now hear again from Psalm 28. I will read the psalm through a bit slower. Let the words wash over you and pay attention to what comes to the front of your mind as you hear God's word spoken over your life and your situation. To you, O Lord, I call my rock. 
do not refuse to hear me. For if you are silent to me, I shall be like those who go down to the pit. Hear the voice of my supplication as I cry to you for help. As I lift up my hands toward your most holy sanctuary, do not drag me away with the wicked with those who are workers of evil, who speak peace with their neighbors while mischief is in their hearts. Repay them according to their work and according to the evil of their deeds. Repay them according to the work of their hands Render them their due reward. Because they do not regard the works of the Lord or the work of his hands, he will break them down and build them up no more. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard the sound of my pleading. The Lord is my strength and my shield. In him my heart trusts. So I am helped, and my heart exalts, and with my song I give thanks to him. The Lord is the strength of his people. He is the saving refuge of his anointed. O oh, save your people and bless your heritage. Be their shepherd, and carry them forever. We thank you, Lord, for the sacred text. We thank you for the inspiration you have given us this night. Those things that you have called out to us, Lord, those words, those images, those phrases which come forward to our heart and to our thinking. We thank you for that message that is so personally for us. Let us now consider him who is the source of all goodness in our life and take our prayers to the Lord our God. Loving and merciful God, there is so much we would lay before you so many things we have already forgotten. So many difficulties that formed our morning, that led into our afternoon, that we've carried into this evening. We carry the baggage of this life, Lord, and it burdens us, it makes us tired, causes us to hurt, physically even, so much we carry. So many words said to us that were careless. So many people that reached out to hurt, and we were the victim. So many things, Lord, that we ourselves have done that we wish we had not. Perhaps we were the source of hurtful words or thoughts. Perhaps we are the pain and the burden that someone else carries into this evening. For that, Lord, we ask your forgiveness. We ask, Father, that you take from us all of these difficulties. That right here and now we surrender to you the weight of this day. For all of the ways that we are forced down by life, we give those to you. We lift ourselves in body and in spirit 
to the most holy sanctuary and we say, Lord, take this pain from us. Take this grief from us. Take this worry and this doubt from us. Take this anxiety from us, Lord. Take all of this from us and restore us. Revive us. Enliven us. Merciful God, we ask for a blessing for all of our friends and family who suffer today from whatever they are going through. We ask, Lord, that you would move into their life, that you would create solutions where none could be found, that you would heal where no doctor could cure, that you would bring smiles to faces that have known only sorrow. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Merciful God, for this community that surrounds us, for all of the township around us, those who do know God and those outside of the knowledge of you, Lord, we ask for your blessing. That you would bring them into faith, bring them into community, bring them into love, bring them closer to you. And help us, if you've called us to that task, to show them the way to your throne room. Help us to be the people you've always hoped we would be. And help the others who run from you. Stop them in their tracks if need be. Bring them to their knees if need be. But Lord, do not destroy them. Instead, comfort them. Bring them peace. Bring them, remind them of who you are. And draw them closer by faith. Set before them the image of Jesus, his example, his life. Bring the Holy Spirit through them convict them, to change them, to turn them closer to you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Loving God, we pray for our country, for all the difficulty we are going through, for the way we have divided out, for the way we have labeled one another, for the ways we hurt one another without trying for the ways we accuse each other of being destructive when truly we don't know what to do or to say anymore. Lord, if you wish for this nation to prosper, we ask for you to move like a mighty wind through it and to cause your children to do the right thing. Heal us, O oh Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Loving God, for this broken world, we cry out for the many who are held hostage, for those who suffer from violence, for those who suffer from all forms of abuse, for those, Lord, who go hungry, who have nowhere to lay their head, who have no clothing to cover them. Lord, that you would heal this world and call all of the leaders into faith. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. I invite you now to lift aloud or lift silently in your heart your own personal prayers to God. Let us now pray the prayer our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ taught us so long ago. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen indeed. As you go through this night, I hope that you are blessed with the wisdom of knowing that God loves you. If you don't feel that you can claim that love, if it feels like something outside of your understanding, I ask you to simply call out to God and say, Lord, help me in this moment. Show me the next step in my life. And if you need to talk to anyone or to come into prayer or even just to worship, we're here for you. We're always available. You can find us on our website. You can find me through the church office. You can come to Sunday worship or any other way you can connect with us. We'd be glad to reach out to you and to pray with you and to guide you in any way possible. We're all just human beings walking through the same life. But sometimes it's nice to know that someone is standing by your side while you go through everything that this life has to offer. And even if you find yourself alone by your faith in Jesus Christ, he is with you. He never promised you would not go through the storm. But he always said, I will be right there with you as you go through it. So by his blessings and by his faith, go and be blessed. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and all that God would have us, we claim in Christ's holy name. Amen. Have a wonderful evening, everyone.